left two, three, four, we did. Open that program, we did. Kitchen program, we did. Chopu chopu, let's we did. Madam Sabi cook, she did all campaign. For South TV, we did all campaign. Chef two, three, four. Make we the cook, make we the chopu late, and make we the belly full. Now me be Madam Sabi cook. <laughs> For South TV, we did all campaign. So let me start first of all by introducing you guys to my ingredients. I have tomatoes, I have scotch bonnet pepper, I have bell peppers, I have, uh, I'll be using two types of fish. I'll be using coca fish and I'll be using melosa fish and some curry leaves. Now if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do that, okay? You're going to enjoy this video. Make sure you watch this video to the end. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for stopping by again, okay? Thank you so much for stopping by. And don't forget to share this video, like and let me know what you think about this video in the comments section. So now I've added the tomatoes, the bell peppers and onions into a pot. So I'm going to be boiling this, okay, before blending. So now I've, our tomatoes is fully cooked. I'm going to bring it out, allow it to cook a little before I blend with my blender. So let me blend this guys. So I cut my fish and I marinated it up to one hour uh, twenty minutes. Okay. So right now it's time for me to fry. I use some pepper, seasoning cubes, uh, fish seasoning, and of course salt. Okay, so seasoning, then I marinated it for one hour, 30 minutes. So right now it's time for me to transfer it into my frying pan and fry. I'll carry you guys along. Just make sure you watch this video to the end, guys. So I will fry this. I'm going to fry this on both sides until it is golden brown. You can use your oven to grill this. It's, it's easier. Okay, but I just want to fry because I want to use the oil I use in frying the fish for the seafood stew. Okay? So I just have to put the oil. I just a little bit of oil and oil. I'm going to put it for two minutes before adding oil in the oil. My fish is still on the fire, so I'm still going to remove the oil I use in frying the fish. Okay. Now I added my tomatoes, so I'm going to allow this cook till the tomatoes is dry or tea. This is this sour taste completely. Then or tea, you start seeing oil on top of the stew, then you know that it is ready. So, so I added some curry leaves and added the fish. So at this point you have to be very careful so that your fish doesn't scatter. So I'm going to cook this for a few more minutes and we are good to go. 